A, the first part of the video didn't record, but this is October 24th, 2021, calm before the storm. Uh, we drove all the way from the bottom, Highway 330, uh, just so you guys can see what it's like. There's some road work being done. Some of the signs are taken down, so I want to make sure you guys don't miss it. But yeah, calm before the storm. Woo! Love you guys. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I, I usually wouldn't turn it on right here because this is just an ugly little part of the road. But uh, the next exit right here is where we need to go, Highway 330. Usually there's a big sign right here and on that side but they aren't here. Thank goodness there's at least this one at the exit. Um, I think there was one way back a bit that showed the exit coming up on you, but if you're driving along at night just singing in the rain or something, you might miss the exit. So this is Highway 330. This is heading out to Big Bear Lake and uh, Big Bear Valley, you guys. This is this is how we always used to drive up as a kid, up this way and, and up Highway 18, because we had a house in Lake Arrowhead, so we would, drive up there and that's the way I'm feeling right now guys I can't believe it I'm not all bummed out like how I have been seeing my mom and spending time with her and seeing my best friend and spending those are my two best friends you guys by far and I got to spend time with both of them in the same day so I'm a very lucky lucky man today but anyway we're on highway 330 now um, we'll do bits and pieces I don't want to bore you guys too much I'm sure you guys would want to see oh man Yeah, we're just gonna do bits and pieces. Also, I gotta get something to drink. So we would be staying on the left side here to go up to Big Bear. And we're at the bottom of the mountain. All right, guys, see you hey Guys, I said forget it. We're gonna we're gonna drive up. We're gonna record going up Highway 330. We just did Highway 38, so why not go up this one? It's it's much faster, but I suggest Highway 38, you guys, if you guys have concerns about driving up the mountain roads. I don't want any of you getting into any accidents or scaring the crap out of yourselves. It can be a little bit hair raising on this road, especially when we have weather coming through. There's the rear view mirror. You don't see much in the terms of weather back there, but it's coming guys, it's coming. When I was driving back from Orange County, I completely forgot to record. I was talking the whole time. I forgot to record. Um, so unfortunately we don't have any. I was gonna do bits and pieces until we got here and then record all the way up. So this is going to be a long video, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't get to do these up and down videos too often. <laughs> it sounds like it could be in a different kind of category of video. Up and down videos. <laughs> that wasn't funny. That was not funny at all. It was not funny. Oh my gosh, seriously. I, am, I have such a filthy mind sometimes. I don't know what to do with myself half the time. But... I am in such a good mood. I cannot believe it, you guys. I haven't felt this good, especially with like all the family stuff still going on in my life that's miserable. Like my dad's not responding to me and, and this and that. Like, it's a long story. I'll get into it during one of the snowstorms with you guys because I need to talk about it. Um, I did talk to my best friend about it, talked to my mom about it also, but I haven't really talked with you guys yet because I haven't had a chance. But I'm not going to bore you guys with that. We're going to stay positive on, on this one. And then I can really, really get get really sad and, and painful next one. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, man. So how is everybody today? Hope you guys are all doing wonderful. shallow mountain range but it's still a mountain range so it, it, go, it goes deep it's it's layered a bit 
Um, I just thought it was like up and down, just like you see on, on, on cartoons. So, so, you know, it, it would make me really sad because we'd be driving up here and I'd look up there and there wouldn't be any snow up there. But I'm telling you guys, oh, my mom is such an angel. Oh my God, I love that lady so much. I love that lady so much. I didn't give her any crap this time about my other siblings or this and that because I'm always trying to like defend myself um, and show my mom that I'm not what they say and it's just it, she she knows and so that's that's all I care about it makes me really happy if we weren't recording there's no way this guy would be getting in, in front of me right here watch not a chance because I would end up passing him anyway and guys, don't find that as being rude. I'm not being rude. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm gonna like just cut them off and pass them. I'm gonna pass them in a passing lane. But today I'm just gonna relax. We're entering the San Bernardino, well, we were in the San Bernardino National Forest, but we're actually heading up Highway 330 now. This is like the initial real st uh, climb, the beginning. The beginning. The climb to Big Bear. Will he make it or will he get snowed in? next on Big Bear Weather and More. Yeah, I got problems. <laughs> seriously. I mean, no wonder why I'm single. I mean, what a dork. Like, seriously. Seriously. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing some people are actually attracted to me. <laughs> you know, like, it's, 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 it's an incredible, it's incredible. Usually it's people who are, who are vision impaired and uh, who can't really feel with their hands so they don't have to feel that. It's so funny. Oh man, full of the self-deprecation today. But you know what, it's just fun. It's fun to be able to laugh at yourself. And... But ob obviously not, not be serious. That was the problem most of my life is always talking smack to myself. It's amazing how impactful that can be because you can change all those thoughts and by thinking positive. <laughs> it's so simple. Now, now look at this guy. Look at how slow he's going. He's going to get the train horn and just, oh, actually, no, there's someone ahead of him going really slow soon. But this will give you guys a sense of how I drive up the mountain. I'm not really going to do much differently except not drive quite as fast. <laughs> and you'll see, guys, when I come up, on people I, I do get frustrated I can't help it I'm, I'm doing my best because I don't ever want to come up on like one of you and then f feel bad when it was like one of you you guys are like hey I saw you and you were right on our bumper flipping us off <laughs> like hurry up <laughs> like, I, like so I think about those things like I don't want to accidentally do that to one of you guys so I just don't, I don't do that stuff anymore. I've, I've grown so much because of you guys. Now I'm not going to lie when the camera's not on, there might be a few more middle fingers going up here and there, but, and that's not to say that it's justified and I should do that. And like, uh, I'm so cool for doing that. No, it's the complete opposite. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm an open book with you guys. I want you guys to know exactly who I am. I have social anxiety, like I, I have a hard time being around people. Um, I love communicating with people, but being around people, I, 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 it's really hard for me. It's really hard for me. I don't know what it is. I used to always want to be around people. That's all, like I never wanted to be at home. I was always at friends' houses as a kid, like spending the night every Friday and Saturday night, never ever by myself. I was always with friends. And now it's like, I just want to be by myself all the time. And it's, it's kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's like looking forward to getting back to my little tiny shack up here in Big Bear is making me really happy. I get to see my kitty and I have to take him to the vet. So I'm not too, too happy about that. It's just sad. But I, I, I think he'll will be okay. It just has to be taken care of. Look, so there's turnouts everywhere and slower traffic could, you know, well, they're supposed to. 
use these turnouts right here. And you can see I'm not really tailgating. I could back off a little more too. That's what I don't like. Even with all of the experienced drivers on this road who live up here and stuff like that, it's I don't like seeing the just right on somebody's butt because that's gonna cause a lot of accidents and make a lot of you panic who are already terrified to drive these roads. You don't need someone right on your ass like that. So I get it. And it bothers me seeing that. So the way to avoid that, you guys, is just to kind of suck it up a little bit and realize that it's not like they're one-upping you by passing you. Just pull out at, at, at the next turnout and let the faster traffic by and it'll make everyone's life easier. You won't stress out. They'll be thankful that you that you pulled out so they won't be in such a bad mood. Like, yeah, there's just so many different things. Like this, this guy, man, like now he's really starting to get to me. <laughs> we can pass him up here in just a moment and in my little four cylinder the way that I have to pass this in this first passing this first uh, area of passing lanes I have to hit my gas like three quarters of the way up the hill to be able to pass anybody you'll see this guy's gonna be easy this guy's gonna be easy look there's a huge turnout right here but you know he isn't gonna even think about that of course not no way See? You see how I get you guys? Oh my gosh. But you guys are getting to experience it. See, so you can see, like, you know, everybody has their issues. Okay, I'm gonna be able to pass both these guys, I think. So, right when we get past this passing lane ahead sign, I'm gonna have to hit my gas. Like, just, just ahead of it. Okay, let's see here. Right about now. But this guy's too close to me. Look at how fast they rolled in down there. That's unbelievable. Just this little drive up here, you get a much better perspective of the storm coming in. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. And I washed the windshield for us too, you guys. Aren't I special? I, I even bought brand new, I bought three pairs of brand new windshield wipers. This is how that happened. Went into AutoZone up in Big Bear. They didn't have windshield wipers for my uh, car that everybody owns up there, the Subaru Crosstrek. So I ordered a couple pair from the online website from like AutoZone or something, not, not Napa. And then three days later, they had to cancel my order saying that they can't fulfill my order. So I was able to find the original Subaru ones on Amazon somewhere and I bought two of them because they were supposed to like ship out within like a day or two. Well, they still haven't shipped out. So last night, literally my windshield wipers, I couldn't even wash my windshield because it just wouldn't clean it. It, it, it was ripped and all of that. So I had to buy new windshield wipers last night. And it was like $65 just for the front two. And it's just, just ridiculous, but I'm, I'm hoping they're, they're gonna be good. We'll see, we'll see tonight. But here's the, oh my gosh, look at, look at the storm. I mean, that's, uh, you guys probably can't, can't see it too well. Once we get up here a little bit more, you'll be able to see it. So this is how I usually drive this road. Usually I got two hands on the wheel for the most part right here. But I just want you guys to experience how I get up here so fast always. that are just inconsiderate keeping everybody up for a long time it gives you this huge open space so I always look forward to that when they're going really slow I keep telling myself well you're gonna have a bunch of free space pretty soon <laughs> so yeah
big turnout where I've had to pass people on the right. I'm not bragging about it. I'm just saying that since I know all these turnouts, I would hit my gas right here and then watch this. And then I would cut across to the right, just like this. I go whoop when the slow cars are here and just go like this. Cause look, it goes all the way around the corner. And then I'm just like, see ya, pass everybody. Pass everybody in there, mama. So we only started this video down at the bottom 13 minutes ago and we're almost all the way to the top. What do you guys think about that? And that was stuck behind a little bit of traffic too. And what I mean the top is running springs. And look at my car still clean, you guys. You guys see that? Can you believe that? Can you guys believe that? My phone overheated. Doesn't that always happen with me? Anyway, my car is clean. I want to show you guys the car is clean. Still looks very good. Hope you guys are impressed. So this is how I look when I drive. I try to look as cool as I can. Left arm up. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, yeah, guys. Camera overheated. I just pulled over for five minutes for you guys to make sure that I can get it going again. questions about stuff that I'm wearing like this hat guys this is my best friend's company and uh, it's a concentrate company um, for those adults who know what that is and that's all I will say about that at the moment but any information you guys want to know let me let me know man he's, he's, he's a wonderful person a great father his daughter's gonna have like the coolest Halloween because he's just the coolest person so cool man but yeah he owns a company called blue concentrates b-l-e-w and his artwork is phenomenal also the guy's just amazing but anyway guys checks out sorry to interrupt real quick about that this is looking down about five six thousand feet if you can see some of the more snowy areas when you get up to, to the top of the mountain it's not gonna be so much the case this storm but I'm looking forward to driving this one of these days for our winter videos and uh, it being completely engulfed with snow just covered it's gonna be beautiful I'll tell you that it's gonna be guys I'm telling you you guys like beautiful artwork and just just very interesting stuff and all coming from like someone who's amazing yeah is my best friend Curtis I'm not just saying because he's my best friend like he's he's creative
created something that is so amazing in the quality you guys like like even when when i i partake i don't use anything but his and i won't and i have very high standards as you guys will see from my own beanies you guys know what what my standards are becoming in life which is like really high high quality nice stuff you only get one life i don't you know i i want us all to have it as i said these these beanies i'm i'm only selling uh including shipping for twice as much as i bought them for so it's not that much because i had to pay for shipping everything everything so these these beanies you guys like i i wanted to make sure that everybody can get a beanie like this yeah they still aren't cheap but I, i'm telling you do your research when you when i get them and you guys see what they're made of and this and that do your research on them like like go to any store online that sells like nice wealthy people stuff like like nordstrom's and stuff like that and find their most basic merino wool beanie that looks just like these ones they're 200 dollars, 175 dollars. i'm just gonna get rid of them for 70 bucks and i'm even gonna show you guys the damn invoice so you guys know because it's not it, it, it's not about making money. Yeah, that couple bucks, guys, that's going to help me a lot. That's going to help me a lot because, oh, my gosh. Like, guys, that's going to help me a lot because keep in mind, like, six months out of the year, I don't get many viewers. <clears throat> and so it's it's just it's, it's very, <clears throat> very limited. Big Bear is dead. Jobs are impossible. So even though they do have quite a bit of places hiring right now, guys, just so you know. But, uh, yeah, and people are still uh, complaining a little bit about no no jobs up there, but there's plenty of jobs up there, I'm telling you. Plenty of jobs. Oh, yeah. Calm before the storm. <clears throat> Once again, I would be way more excited if it was going to be, like, a huge winter weather event. But it's just going to be really cold rain and then maybe a little bit of snow. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you guys. You need to trust me. You don't need to trust me, man. All right, hang on. I need to switch out something. Hang on. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichokey. I just had to swap out my little nicotine thing. Not tobacco, no carcinogens, nothing like that. It's just a little nicotine pouch. Kind of like Nicorette gum or nicoderm patch type it's that same type of thing nothing that's going to cause cancer it's just a very addictive chemical the only warnings that it comes with are warning it may become addictive but there's nothing nothing bad with it i've done done my research on it it's 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 essentially the same thing as having your your cup of coffee each day you know it's just as harmful as caffeine which isn't that harmful and I'm assuming in moderation. Okay. For a second, I thought that was snow on the side. I was like, what is going on here? What is going on here, my friend? You're my friend to the end, my friend. Okay. We're not too far from Big Bear, you guys, so I know it's getting kind of boring, but you get to see what it's like coming up the main road. The main road. It's a Big Bear and beyond. Big Bear and beyond. Bed, bath, and beyond. It's getting, I think it's past our like best fall time colors maybe. But look at all this through here. They've already turned, so yeah, we've already passed, I think, our peak.
progress. So we're coming up to the first ski resort, which is Snow Valley Ski Resort. And down that way, it's about 7,000 feet down the mountain. You can see the clouds barely. Let's see here, just a little view. See them way down there? That's the store, that's, that's the front. That's, that's part of the front. It's way down below the mountain, but then when it hits the mountain, it's gonna force it up. And then it's gonna condense even more. And then water droplets will start falling. That is so cool. Sorry guys, I had to take that phone call. Let me clean the windshield a little bit with my new wipers. Woo! Wow, those do a great job. Guys, there's, whoa, what's this right here? What's that right there? I'm not too thrilled about that. Maybe I have like a, like a leaf stuck in there. Nope, okay. So here's Snow Valley Ski Resort. That's one entrance right here. I believe most people use this other main entrance, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. view of the ski resort. I'm going to open my window so it's a better view. So this is a really good place if you guys don't want to deal with all the traffic going all the way to Big Bear. As much as I want you guys to come to Big Bear, I don't want you guys to be miserable in the traffic. So you can turn right here and park and go skiing. Look at that guys. Look at that. Exiting out of turns, I'm hitting the gas. We're a pretty good driver. <laughs> I drive by the book. Except for my, actually my speed isn't really above what I'm supposed to be going. It's just the speed's 55 on these roads. So it seems like I'm going a lot faster. It's just everybody drives a lot slower. That's the thing. They, everyone drives so much slower than our speed limit up here. But I don't blame them. That's why I'm a lot more kind and considerate once I started putting myself in other people's shoes. So here guys, we're about to enter the little Arctic circle. It's called the little Arctic circle. It's like a nine mile stretch or something like that. 10 miles or something. I don't know. Maybe even 12 miles from one side of this, I don't know, big old valley area. I don't, I can't, I can't recall what it's called exactly, but you'll see. There's a part right here where you can see Big Bear Lake all the way across this huge open space. I can't, why can't I think of the word? Jeez Louise. Lake View Point, we're at 7,112 feet. So check it out, when we pull off here, there's no one behind us, so we're not gonna lose any pace. Let me show you guys where Big Bear Lake is. All the way across this huge valley. You see that lake right out there? That's where I live, in that valley out there. How cool is that? And when we get storms, it looks so cool in here, guys. It's like a whole different world. Look at that. It's a whole different world down there. And you, there's a lot of falling rocks on this road here from, from all this along here. Anytime we get any weather, we're, we're, we're gonna get inundated with big rocks falling. So it's very dangerous, um, especially after a storm. And well, during a storm. And from 
down on the 10 freeway and dip way down there you can you can see this this part of, of, of the mountain range you can identify exactly where the little arctic circle is it's pretty cool looking up at a big mountain range and then seeing a little tiny area knowing exactly where that is it's pretty cool I'll show you guys how we drive this road because we get a passing lane up here soon but I don't use it I don't use it as a passing lane I use it as just two lanes make one for me so I just kind of you'll see you'll see once again that's how I get up and down so quickly but I'm very careful I don't, I don't cross any lines when there's blind turns nothing like that i'll never ever ever put anybody else's life in jeopardy on these roads at all okay so we got a bunch of people leaving big bear oh it's sunday that's right oh that sucks you guys all these people are leaving they're gonna miss the storm Oh, I bet they were wishing the storm was on Saturday, so they so they would have already been up here. So here's more of the little Arctic Circle. It's a huge area, you guys. I know you're not getting a good view. Isn't that beautiful? little arctic circle that's what we're driving through right now so now we have our two lanes here I'll show you guys how we do this the safest way to drive this road. I'm telling you, you guys, especially when there's no one on it. Straighten you out a lot more. You don't have to be concerned with so many turns. Especially for the people who are worried. Obviously, if, if you're scared of, of these mountain roads, like a lot of people are, then you're probably not going to be using both lanes anyway because you'll be so focused. But, um, yeah, that's, that's how I drive this road, guys. That's how we do it. how we do it in the BBC, in the Big Bear City. can take this highway from the very bottom from San Bernardino and then we go over the mountain range and it'll drop us off uh, in Victorville eventually oh no Barstow oh no no Victorville Victorville yep it's pretty cool stay on the same road traffic is minuscule coming in I think you guys will be okay those of you who have time off on Monday come up here today you're not gonna get this video till late tonight so it's not gonna matter but um, 
I wish I could get it to you guys faster. If I did a much shorter one just to show you guys what's going on, that would probably help. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to help. <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> I already feel like I inundate you guys enough with like videos, so I just want to make sure that, you know, it's not just something. It's, it's totally a waste of time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this drive. Anticipation of our weather event coming in. Yeah, I'm not the only one who flies on this road. <laughs> you see these guys coming towards us, man. Some of them are experts, too. I'm a self proclaimed expert. No means am I certified. Maybe in some other ways I'm certifiable, <laughs> but that's about it. Okay, we're coming up to the Big Bear Dam right now and entering Big Bear Lake. So check it out, guys. This is your last little turnoff before you enter Big Bear Lake? It's such a good feeling coming across this bridge, you guys. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in heaven like I usually do. And one day I'm going to come down behind the dam and show you guys why we have no water in the lake. It's a raging river that's constantly being let loose of this damn dam. <laughs> and it's very sad. Yeah, you sneak down right there, right behind there. You walk down there behind the dam and then you'll see a raging river that's constantly being let out of the dam for the Redlands and other places use of our water. You could literally ride a freaking a raft and get turned over by all the white water that is being let out of that damn thing. It is so much water, you guys. I don't even know how we maintain any water in the lake seeing that. And I only saw this for the first time a few months ago. About two months ago. I, I could not, could not believe it. I could not believe it when I saw that. I was like, well, duh, no wonder why. <laughs> no wonder why we don't have any water. That's why. But look at the lake, it looks beautiful though. It really does, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I should say. That's just spectacular. I'm liking it a lot. It's a beautiful place. I live in a beautiful place called Big Bear Lake. Come up with a song. I'd like to hear it, here it goes. Just kidding. I hope some of you got that re that reference. That's a In Living Color reference. I'd like to hear it, here it goes. so lucky to live here I moved up here because my family didn't want anything to do with me and the only place I felt like I wouldn't jump off of a building is Big Bear because it snows and snow makes me so happy and so I moved up here in the worst conditions you guys I was miserable didn't want anything to do with anything anymore I just wanted to live out my life and be done with it and then so much has happened up here man you guys have saved me you guys have saved me we're eventually gonna open a bed and breakfast eventually, you guys. And it's gonna be great to, to host you guys and be able to serve you guys and stuff like that, treat you guys, and it's just gonna be great. It's gonna be a, a, a great adventure. We have a lot to look forward to in the future, you guys. And with with my best friend behind me, oh my gosh, God, you, you're, it's ridiculous, the sky how limitless it is when you have people in your life that actually have same goals as you, the same visions as you, and moreover, the same ambition and motivation to achieve the ambition you're seeking. And I'm just a very ambitious person these days in terms of like staying busy, you guys, so my mind doesn't wander. I'm sure some of you go through what I go through and just always catastrophizing everything and ah, yeah, yeah. but anyway we're in Big Bear guys and we're coming up to oh my gosh I guys I saw a place that I that I want to rent I didn't know this area even existed really or how to get there but it's like the nicest lake house I've ever seen and it was three young guys who were like 25 years old you turn down this little street here. 
peninsula. Oh wait, no, no, no. This tree right here. And it's one of these big houses right on the blocks here. It, it, it's the one at the very end. Guys, it was humongous. Yeah, at the very end, that big round one. Oh my gosh. Guys, I, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. When I drove onto the property, it was like I was in, in Beverly Hills. I could not believe where I was. This is Big Bear, and there's some mansions up here. There are some mansions up here. Here's uh, Boulder Bay Liquor Store to the left. Guys, the best place to shop up here for like all your trinkets and just, just, just they have so many different things. Big Bear Smoke and Vape, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, it sounds like just a smoke and vape shop, but they have a little bit of like everything in there. And the owner is such a good, 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 good person. He's been up here for a long time. His name is Sahil. I would, I mean, I would definitely suggest that you guys go shop there. I would never lead you guys astray. I would never lead you guys astray. And as I said, they have a little bit of, of like everything. It's like a souvenir shop too, so. And yeah, we, we, we have other souvenir shops, but he's he, he's the man. He's a good, good, good guy, and I'd like to help him out. Wow. I can't believe this, guys. We are in Big Bear. It, it feels like I just drove up from living down the hill. Like, that's how good I feel right now, guys. I'm so happy right now. And my best friend took me to this restaurant called Rosa's. It's like this beautiful, big Mexican restaurant in the middle of this huge canyon in Orange County. And there's like a river that runs through it. Guys, this was unbelievable. And it was so packed with so many people in the middle of a huge canyon just unbelievable and there was a huge biker bar right there too there were literally about 300 motorcycles there I, I just I could not believe it and funny enough I grew up in Orange County but I grew up like in Newport Beach not in like the foothill area or like Rancho Santa Margarita just just amazing you guys and then to get to come up here and, and see all of this this beauty and feeling like I'm visiting like that's I lost that feeling a long time ago where it felt like I was visiting I'm feeling like that for like a split second until I probably get back home and reality sets in but this is great this is great and yeah as I said guys Big Bear smoke and vape it's not just smoke and vape they have other stuff as I said cool little trinkets like uh, I'd even suggest buying your like when you need like a soda or something, just go there. Oops, we gotta pull over. The, 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 the guy behind me almost rear-ended me. I had my signal on to pull over for that cop who obviously had his lights on. And, and the guy behind me just tried to pass me instead of pulling over also. But see you guys, I'm not gonna let it get to me. Not gonna let it get to me. Not gonna let it get to me. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Usa. Usa. Okay, there we go. We're good. We are good. You know what? We're gonna go through the village to get home. We always gotta do that, you guys. I mean, come on. And guys, guess what? I think right after Halloween, we're gonna start seeing all the Christmas decorations in, in, in the village, so I'm really excited. I am so excited. Woo. We stayed here. We stayed in their biggest room. I have it on our channel for you guys. We stayed in the biggest suite they had. And then we're going to stay here soon too. It's called the club. That's, that's a beautiful area. When there's snow in there, guys, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're entering the village. Lots of good good restaurants in here. This is This is your real big tourism part of town for me one of the most fun parts of town but since I'm not a drinker I don't really go to the bars but I do like to go to the restaurants or I used to at least Ugh. 
Look at, look at fires and stuff right on the side. People sitting next to open fires. How cool is that? Look at that. I forgot that we have those all winter time here. We're gonna try to do more stuff where like, I go to Snow Summit and Bear when no one's there again and walk around and just, just feel that just eerie feeling where it's like a huge ski resort and nobody's there. It's a really cool feeling. I hope you guys kind of get a sensation similar to that when you're watching the video because I know it's probably a lot different when you're watching it. You're not going to get the same feelings, but I try to show it to you guys the way that I see it and the way that I feel because I'm always talking about it. So hopefully I can help you guys. Look at these trees, guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Too nice. Too nice. There's the barber on the hill. Spelled with uh, E. H I L L E. I don't know what is it called. Yeah, we're gonna go by the horses real quick because there's too much traffic to get out of the village right here. Look at how cute! Hey, horses! Hey, horses! So you guys can take rides in that thing. So that's on Petter Street. Petter Street and Pine Knot. The corner of Petter and Pine Knot. P-E-D-D-E-R and Pine Knot. P-I-N-E-K-N-O-T. All right, you guys. I'm gonna keep this on till we get to Moon Ridge. Just a little view of the lake straight ahead. Especially if you want something just, oh gosh, it's, it's, it's so sweet and, oh man, especially up here, man, getting plates like that are really nice. I get one that's got like, uh, that, that chocolate spread on it, Nutella with like bananas and, and strawberries and other fruit. It's so unbelievable. They do such a good job. I know the owners there too. They are, guys, you want to talk about nice people. They're in France for a month. They go do things like that often. And I always I always tell them how how, how much I, I appreciate that they enjoy life and, and, and they do things like that. Like they get to go enjoy life. They've worked hard. And it, it's just, it just makes me proud just to see some of my friends who have worked so hard be able to to do things like this in life like going to France for a month you guys they're in France right now but anyway we have a lot of good restaurants up here you guys but that one right there is a very special one to my heart and when you guys eat there I promise you'll thank me <laughs> I promise it doesn't matter what you get it's her recipe it's Leslie's recipe she's from France and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's her family's recipe. I, I I believe, and it's just incredible, just melt in your mouth. But anyway, you guys, we are coming back up to my neck of the woods. 
I appreciate you guys hanging out. As soon as we get a little weather, we will start recording again. That should be just after midnight. I thought it was gonna start at about eight tonight, but it's it's being pushed back till much later. Very sad, I could have probably stayed down the hill a little bit longer, but I had to get my mom out there to Redlands anyway. So anyway, I love you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the ride. I'll see you soon for the weather.